Hello everyone. Welcome back to Beauty in the Garden. I am T. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm taking a walk in the garden because I want to show you guys a great deal of things. And we just gonna touch bases on some stuff. I actually am super excited about this upcoming fall garden, you guys. I don't know about you guys, but it would be nice to have just a little bit more downtime right now. But you guys what a mess what a mess what a mess what a mess all right so here is the herb garden and you guys everything is just tired look at this well actually i actually just stuck this in here i really just need to go ahead and harvest a couple things and that's the seeds seeds are so important you guys just harvesting these seeds look at all of that all right so we're gonna harvest all of those seeds i did make sure that they dried matter of fact i have to i'm gonna have to go and get my my prunes i was hoping that they would just been a little bit drier especially um especially being the fact that we have all of this heat i was hoping that they were dried by now on the bush and i could just have snapped them right on off but obviously it ain't dry now. So I'm grab my little needle nose pruners. I really like these. I like any uh oh I like any needle nose pruner actually. Kind of just gets on in there, you guys. So kind of gets on in there. So okay, so over here is all the herbs. And as you guys can see, a lot of these herbs need to be taken care of, pruned, and and as well, I'm going to go ahead and take up all of the leeks. Um, some of the leeks, I went ahead and harvested some of the seed. And some of these leeks, they just didn't do right. I'm going to pull them. Matter of fact, before we even get into cutting these seeds off of our herbs here, I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So here is, I can't stand those banana spiders, our leeks. So this is a leek. And I'm just gonna pull them all, matter of fact. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them all right now. Um, a lot of these, to me, are going to be very, very starchy because they just, they just been on here too long. And I let them dry, heat, this just was really bad. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these. And some of them look really like they are, they'll still be okay. And then some of you guys are not so much. And as well, I am getting so tired of spiders or anything like that. No, I just don't want them on me. All right. So we have had so many banana spiders. It's ridiculous. All right. All right. Look at that. This is a leek, you guys. This is not a garlic. This right here is a leek. And that's what I'm telling you guys. They actually been down a little bit too long. But the great thing about leeks is we can always pop them back down. So with these leeks being spent already and they kind of like, like I said, they really starchy. Let's script this one down on camera. Why not? Let's script it down. All right, let's see what it's looking like. I mean, it might still be good. Let's see. All right. So with leeks, you're only going to want to eat is the white part because the top part can be a little rough. Okay. So let's see what we got. Uh, then it's not too bad, you guys, if you look. Let's take one more off. Okay. There we go. All right. So, this is what it's looking like. Not bad. Not bad at all. But, I prefer to harvest them when they're a lot, a lot younger. And the leaves are still bright, bright green. So, but we're going to go ahead and take all the ease up. Oh, my goodness. And pull. Woo! My goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It actually already started to grow itself back. Look at that. That's what I mean. Look at this. So these leaves been down entirely too long. Look at that. It restarted and it got one, two, three, four. Four different leaves. Can you see that? Let's see. Look at that. It already started to regrow itself. So 
what I'm just going to go ahead and do, like I said, I'm just going to actually go ahead and just take them all up and just take it as a loss. But that's okay. That's okay. This is going to do it anyways. Let's go ahead and gather them up so you guys can see. I mean, I left these down way, way, way too long. And all these banana spiders are like driving me crazy. There we go. Look at that. All right, so with these leaks, I'm just gonna cut the base off of them. So what we do is we cut the bottoms off and what happens is we put them back into the ground and they can give us a second harvest, okay? So these are first time leaks, they were done by seed. So when they're done by seed, you can still get a secondary harvest. So cut the bases of the plant uh, roots off and then pop them back into the ground or you can place them in water. I do have videos on how to do that and on how to restart your leaks. So if you want to watch that video, I'm gonna try to make sure I put it in the description box. But all in all, here we go. All the leaks are up. And then I'm just gonna take them later on and then I'm gonna pop them, you guys, into the back into the ground. But I just gotta find an area that I want them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all the greenery off, cut and clean them all up, and then cut the bottoms off. And what I can salvage, I will salvage off of these leaks. And so what I can salvage, I will salvage. But all in all, we can always make do with these leaks right here and still utilize something off of them. Rather, so far I had got the seeds already. So we got the seeds, check. And then on top of that, we got a little bit of them that are still good and have nice white um, stems. And then as well, we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them back into the ground and we're gonna grow them again so that we can go ahead and have another harvest even though I missed out on some of them, but that is okay. Cause we're going to make another harvest and we're going to get it this time. So, all right. And then the next thing is with these, since I already did this, I had to go back and get a basket because I had no plans on pulling those leaks while I was on this. Um, I had no plans on pulling these leaks. And now that I pulled these leaks, guess what? I need another basket. So, but I want to go ahead and take all of these seeds off and put them away dry them properly so i like to take my seeds and put them on a sheet pan under the gazebo out of the sun where they dry kind of like evenly and then i store them away and i put them in a mason jar you guys and that's how i store these seeds but as you guys can see now that this bed is pretty much going to be clean i'm going to go ahead and give it some fertilizer and um yeah, it's going to be good to go. So I might as well just go head back this way. Because I only had that one basket, you guys. I had no plans. Like I said, like I said, I had no plans on harvesting those leaves. But when I went over there to go check out that bed, a hot mess. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. All right. Let's see. It is hot, you guys. It is hot. And I'm trying to get this done before the mosquitoes want to have a nibble and i don't want them to have a nibble on me <laughs> okay so so now that we pull the leaks right so now that we pull the leaks we're going to go ahead and actually go ahead and take care of the deal so those seeds you can use them for so many dishes if that's something you like and uh, if you still want to pickle or something like that these seeds you can use them dry as well okay so you don't have to just put these things in your jar fresh you can season things like that as well all right so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna harvest all of these seeds all right so now that we're back we're gonna go ahead and harvest just the tops off of here I just want the tops okay I just want the tops and we'll come back later and harvest well we'll come back later and take down the plant So we have some seeds here. How cool is that? So now that we harvest off of this one, I have this one that's leaning down on the ground. 
We're gonna harvest all of this. I don't know if you guys can see all those beautiful seeds on this plant. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I don't know what it is about when you cut your fresh herbs. You could just, it's just the smell of clean that you get from your herbs. All right, so now that we went ahead and got our seeds from our deal, you guys check out the herbs up here. So this is my peppermint right here. And I went ahead and trimmed them all the way down. I mean, way, way down. If you guys, I'm quite sure the people who follow me know that I always trim my herbs down as low as I can. And then especially when it comes down to my mint, I always share it all the way down and it comes back nicely. Now, what if you guys can see this little ring here? Now, I do go ahead and soak my pots sometimes, especially when it's super, super dry. I will go ahead and soak the pots so that they can have a nice uh drink of water so always keep that in mind especially if you are a container gardener having some type of reservoir or some place that you can soak or drench your plants so that the plant can absorb a lot of water this is the way to go i actually went ahead and took my gorilla card filled it up with the water hose put in a little bit of fishy motion and let these babies just sit inside of the gorilla cart and let them absorb as much water as they can. So when it comes down to this area right here, I made sure that I trying to keep up with this area. But when it came down to those leaks, you guys, I did neglect those leaks. I should have pulled them and I told myself to pull them. But all in all, you guys, there is some still some pretty good leaks in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna actually make a soup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these up really, really nicely, really fine because they might be a tad bit tough. And then I'm gonna go ahead and boil them. And then what I'm gonna do is add in some potatoes. Now I like the little small uh, potatoes, little roaster potatoes, and I pop those in into my soup. And I like to use, uh, it's kind of like a finger link potato. It's small, it's, it cooks really quickly. And then I'll just go ahead and make a leek potato soup out of them and you guys it's going to be delicious so but i did want to show you guys some of the things that i go ahead and get done out here in the garden say hello 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 my little mama's out here with me what do you want she wants something y'all over here was designated just for herbs but you guys i did have the leeks planted here and the only thing that I have left now that's planted here is the peppermint that's in the containers, which I do recommend that you grow your peppermint into containers because it can get very invasive. So if you don't want a particular bed to be filled up with peppermint, I do recommend them putting it into containers, okay? Because they will just keep on growing and keep on spreading, okay? Because all of these containers here, believe it or not, can be split and and put into other containers because the root system is massive. The root ball is 
massive in here okay it's pretty much the whole entire pot okay so that's why watering it the way i water it is going to be the best way to keep them alive all right and the next thing down here as i have here in this spot right here is i have some sage and then some thai basil some uh thyme and then this one here is going to see now this is another type of basil the difference in the two basils here believe it or not this one will get bitter all right this particular genevieve basil will get bitter and that thai basil that's flowering will not get bitter so with this one already flowering you guys i'm going to go ahead and start some more seeds because this one will definitely have a different flavor unlike the thai basil so keep that in mind when it comes down to certain herbs certain herbs is okay to flower especially like the thyme here i mean the oregano here oregano does not change its flavor um, when it flowers i have yet to see any change in the oregano when it comes down to them flowering and um uh, but as you guys can see it has gone crazy so i'll be cutting it again this will be my third time cutting it um this year and then I'm gonna come in and I'm going to top this bed, you guys, with some compost. Topping your beds with compost, I promise you, it's going to help you, it's going to benefit your plants every time you plant into your beds. I know you say, you, you just started a bed, but once you take plants out, you wanna put something back, okay? I promise you, you wanna put something back in there and topping it with at least an inch to a half an inch of compost will definitely, definitely help. This bed, I am gonna still go ahead and add an all-purpose fertilizer as well as topping it with compost. But all in all, you guys, here is a quick update on some of the things that we have harvested today that needed to be harvested. And it doesn't look great, but you guys, there's benefits still there. And that's one thing I wanted to do this video about is because even though it doesn't look great, even though it looks like it was time to go ahead and harvest them, we have a lot here and you can harvest these when they're beautifully nice and green but those seeds can go in a dish as seasoning and as well our leeks i collected some some seeds off of our leeks and as well some of these leeks are still good to chop up and make leek soup and as well we're going to pop these roots back into the ground all right, we're gonna clean them up, we're gonna cut them, and then I'm gonna place them into some water until I figure out exactly where I'm gonna put these leeks so I can get a secondary harvest. So I hope you guys truly enjoy my content and trying to give you some great ideas on how to keep on growing in your garden. And like I always tell you guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And like I always tell you guys, there's beauty in everyone garden and bye bye for now bye bye you guys i'll see you guys in the next one